to ask you first, what do you think fashion is? Anyone can answer me? Anyone? What is fashion? Yes, you can just unmute yourself. Um, so previously, what I meant about fashion when um, most university students are allowing themselves to use creativity and knowing on how to be more independent on structuring the way how we proceed the management and design studies. Okay, cool. What about the others? What is fashion in general? Uh, miss, yes. for me, yes. for me, it's a lifestyle, and it's yeah. something that you wear. Exactly. So actually, for centuries, clothes have been used a lot, or like just body adornment, as a form of non-verbal communication. It's either to indicate your wealth, indicate your status, indicate your occupation, your affiliation, and so on. Basically, we could say that fashion is a form of mastique or a form of prestige. It's not only embracing clothing, but also we could say like accessories or any other body more from hat to foot. What we wear and how and when we wear it, sometimes others with a show hand, can simply read the surface of a social situation. We could also say that fashion is the prevailing style or custom as in dress or behavior. Something such as garment that is in the current mode. Or if so long, we say that dressing is a way of life. Or for Coco Chanel, fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. So it's not dresses only, okay? Fashion is in the sky, in the street, fashion has to do with ideas, the way you live, and basically what is happening around us. But for models, Lauren Hardin, fashion is what you're offered four times a year by a designer. And style is what you choose. So we could say that fashion involves changes, Fashion is a question of short term trends or facts. If you look back, like from here, the 1784 up to 1970, even up to today, there are a lot of changes in just garment alone. From hat adornment to the bottom, even shoes, it keeps on changing. So it's like fashion keeps on changes, there are facts and stuff. And we're going to talk about product life cycle as well. But before that, for author of the fashion planning book, he said that taste is constant, style varies from season to season. And therefore, here are the product life cycle. This one talks about the acceptance of a certain product or a certain style in the, mar in the market. So the first one, we have here the style. The style, or like we could say it as a classic. That is something or like a style or a product that is there in the market being accepted for quite a long time period. Well, for fashion, it has the end in moment. Well, for fact, it's a super short term. So it's like, for example, you know, pump pump or like Harajuku style. Yes, it is accepted in the market, but then it's just for a short time, short amount of time. This one is what we call a style or classic. For example, it's the little black dress. I believe most of you guys have little black dress, right? For girls, it's just so common that we have black dress. And therefore, we could say that it's a style or it's a classic. Well, for this one, the rubber band bracelet, it just fat. Why? Because it's so suit, unlike the little black dress. It is accepted in the market, but it's not there for quite a long time of period. 
So fashion is about creating the over something we create something to the market, or like our consumer, or even what we wear ourselves. The industry was continually creating the fashion products, and we could say that it's about constructing, molding, and also making something. And you must know this one, it's about the fashion market. Like, like a pyramid, you have through the bottom, the mass market, and then going above, it's the underwear. And the other point is the off the go. When we say that trickle down, it's about the bottom here is taking the inspiration from here. On the other hand, if it is trickle up, it's about the upper side taking inspiration from here. From the bottom up. Let me give you an example for this. Uh, first and first, the Okudur, there are brands like Gore, McQueen, Tomoron, and so on. And then we have the bridge brand like Miu Miu, Jason Lee, Marchica, Story Verge, Burberry. And going to the bottom of the pyramid, we have the high end brands such as Fox, Dark Baker, Tralegopol, or even Karen Miller. On the bottom line, we have the mass market, or sometimes we could also say that those are the fast fashion. We have the H&M, Lingo, Zara, Bershaw, Brother 21, Brother, and it's everything that you would see in the mall. And this one, for example, is the trickle up. From the bottom of the pyramid, like the mass market, we would wear something like this one, like t-shirts, um, or like the punk style, but then it is taken up into the um, off-putter style. Like Gucci, we know that they have this set of t-shirts, or like, for example, a um, mosquito. They took it the inspiration from the bottom side, from the mass market. On the contrary, the trickle down, the mass market, or like, um, the fast fashion is taking inspiration from the upper side. The upper side is like the monochromatic tone is taken from the okudo or the hybrid. The first fashion are brought by designers trying to create something to satisfy customers. It is because of influences beyond the control designer of designers or manufacturers. Therefore, we could say that fashion is about changing. It's not just about making things, but it's also about aware of things around us changing. So what do you think about this question? What are the possible benefits you expect from a fashion brand? What are you looking for from, from a particular fashion brand? Anyone would answer this? Anyone could you answer Miss Shelley's question? Maybe Fania or yeah, Jennifer. Jennifer is raising hand. Please, Jennifer. Uh, quality, um, price, uh, design. Okay, so you're looking from a brand as the design, isn't it? Yeah. Right, yes. What about the other? What are you trying to get from a particular brand? Yes. Uh, good quality clothing. Yes. Good quality. Good one. And then I want to hear from other person as well, please. Aside from price, design, quality, what else?
let me ask Shakira. Are you there? Shakira. Yes. What are you looking from? What are you looking for from a fashion brand? What do you expect? Um I guess the the brand itself, like their what what is it called? Their unique selling point. What makes them different? The branding for you. It's important. Yes, yes the branding. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Okay, the other one I would like to ask from Keisha. Um, maybe for me, uh, the, how do we say it, like, class in the social life, something like that, using something from brand, aside from, like, the benefits, the, the, the quality, that's the bonus point of using a fashion brand, I think. Uh, sort of, like, gaining status from a brand, you mean? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle, there are also some answers on the chat box. Josephine said trend, uh, Cindy Wen said benefit, Piper mentioned creativity, and Aisha mentioned innovation. Okay, thanks, Aida mentioned quality. What you guys are saying that's correct already we're looking for price we're looking for quality we're looking for design style fit fabric uniqueness variety of choice fabric or even exclusiveness to status companies can actually differentiate itself through their product certain over channels people or even the image of the brand itself so we're talking sort of like branding so And part of the fashion, you will see lots of history. You're talking about design, the production, management, merchandising, and later on the communication. So that's it for me. I would like to say welcome to BNSP Fashion. Anyone would like to ask anything? Yes, Arasha? Um, excuse me, miss. I have a question just related with maybe if it is for the pricing brands. I'm still kind of confused how like uh, most fashion designers when they differentiate between the price and the quality, things like that. Thank you. I guess, sorry, what do you mean? Sort of unclear. I mean that how they differentiate the price and the quality in the fashion industry. Okay, that particular question, you're going to explore it yourself, even through this course. So it's about thinking about your market first, knowing what you're selling for. So like either you want to go for your price high, or you want to go for a fashion, for example, like mass market, sort of cheaper, right? But then you're going to create the strategy to either you want to go up or you want to go down. It's basically talking about the strategy, in which you're going to discuss it later within the course. Is that answering you? Yes. The others would like to ask anything?
Anyone would like to ask questions? Um, um, what do we have to look out for or do in order to um, make a good brand, make a good look for our brand, if you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so you mean like, what are the things that we need to do in order to have a good brand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Well, there are a lot of things that you need to think about, like such as your pricing strategy, your product owner, even your branding, merchandising, and all those sort of things like combining one before you be able to over it to price. So you cannot just think about, okay, let me just over it this part of the product. But you need to think about the other things like bubbling around us. You might want to think about what are the touch points that the brand has with the customers, either like from the communication stuff, or is it from the quality, or is it from even having a retail store? And basically, those sorts of strategies you need to think before you operate a brand. Miss Ali, there's a question on the chat box from Josephine. Oh, what is the best way to promote your brand? Nobody knows. You've got to try it with your coffee. Would like to ask questions? Is Josephine's uh, question already answered, Miss Ali? Okay, can you hear my voice earlier? I did answer, but I'm not sure you could hear me. Okay, sorry, I didn't it's okay. really. Josephine, is it clear enough? Uh, answer from Miss Ali? Yes, yes. Or maybe Sir Vicky would like to add up something. Uh, okay. The best way to promote a, a brand. Yes. Hi, Sir um, Vicky. I think, yeah, uh, welcome to all of you. Um, is my voice is clear? Yep, loud and clear. Oh, louder, Thank okay. You. Yeah. So welcome to, yes, because there are so many things that Many things, but it must be interesting that you can learn about fashion, especially in Indonesia that has such as a lot more that you can do as inspiration. And also, um, as you knew that uh, tomorrow I will ask you, it's one of you, yeah, according to the, you know, let's say like, actually our ancestor, our culture has been in touch with fashion since there's a fabric, yeah, that uh, since that we as a human being that has the needs in clothing, especially to cover up our body. And then after that, we also enhancing that with, uh, you know, like ceremony, yeah? since we all were born, since we are a child, yeah, it's covered by uh, fabric, right? And then until the day that we 
teenagers and then uh, let's say celebration 17 yeah, in, in traditional yeah I mean and also uh, wedding and then uh, we're going back yeah to let's say we are in the mortality yeah let's say like a toraja that they have to put like red fabrics I don't know yeah high maybe hundreds or uh, meters of the fabrics so it's really interesting yeah and I'm so glad that you choose fashion. Fashion is not just only a clothing, yeah. I think like the things that I wrote when Miss Sally questioning about what is fashion. Fashion is life, yeah. Who's uh, uh, answer that? Josephine, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's that's true, yeah. Fashion is life. Uh, and I added more uh, in the practical is fashion is lifestyle, yeah. Okay, I think that's all. Yeah. So uh, keep in mind, and tomorrow we will meet again. Thank you, Miss Ellie, for uh, communicate about fashion and also lecture us. It's really the first thing, yeah, the first one, Miss Ellie yang ngajar. <laughs> so thank you so much. And I think is there any test? Yeah, I I don't know, like. I think uh, we'll go back to Miss Sally. Miss Mira, yeah, Miss Mira sekarang. Hello, Miss Sally. Yes. Are you there? Yeah. I think there should be a few, right? So, students, is there other questions? You can just. Uh, raise your hand or you can write it on the chat box. Miss Ellie, is there any quizzes maybe that you can give to your students? Yes, hold on. Okay, there's a question from Salita. What do we need to bring for tomorrow on site class? Can you teach people to answer this? Um, uh, I don't think, was what do we need to bring tomorrow on site class? Hmm. Okay. Maybe your own gadgets and... Laptop, yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, in case you, you need it, mm -hmm, you bring your own tumbler. Tumbler, tumbler yes, for, yep. for safety reasons. Yeah. Drinking, yeah. And, and if, your, your own equipment, like uh, writing tools, your notebook, something yes. like that, your personal belongings. Yeah. And also, let's say if your parents still appreciate that you uh, visit the restaurant, you can bring your own lunch or breakfast box. Yeah. I mean, uh, maybe for tomorrow, uh, because we're gonna learn about history, fashion, and also um, brand. Yeah. I would like you to choose. Um, um, one is what is your uh, favorite brand yeah, for tomorrow? It could be national, local, or international. Yeah, brand that really uh, cherished by you more. Yeah, let's say you really like this brand. Yeah, only that, and then learn about the history and also just read it from the website. Yeah, you don't need to bring anything. Just keep in uh, on your information, maybe on your Google. Yeah, and. And the thing is about, I would like you to have uh, your own definition about what is fashion Indonesia. Yeah? Let's discuss it tomorrow. What is fashion Indonesia? Yeah? Okay, that's all for me. Oh, and I also would like to add up for a preparation for Wednesday on-site class with me. There will be two sessions, yeah, there will be two sessions. And 
you will need to prepare several several special equipments um because we're going to do a mini workshop yeah two sessions with two different mini workshops the first one um fl please kind of please or correct me yeah i kind of forget which one is the first session uh there will be print making and the resist die uh workshop fl can someone help me which one is the first one is it the printmaking one or the resist die so the point is there will be two different uh, mini workshops and there will be some equipments that you need to prepare yeah and since there the the regulation is uh lending and borrowing equipments is prohibited yeah between each student so make sure you bring your own uh, equipments okay and uh i will share the details uh later yeah uh, i will share the details to uh, fl to your seniors and fl kind of please uh pass the information to your students yeah nanti tolong share ke, uh, ke freshman okay and oh uh for those students who who will come uh, directly to jwc campus for especially for wednesday activity don't use pretty clothes yeah don't use pretty clothes because uh we're going to use something a little bit uh dirty yeah we will use paints and something like that so don't use your pretty clothes just use something use something appropriate but but not your favorite clothes yeah or you can bring your own a apron you can bring your own apron yeah uh jangan pakai baju-baju cantik lah nanti takut kena chat or something else yeah uh can i uh could you please raise your hand who will come directly to campus on site? Students who will come on site? Whoa. There will nice. be 17 students. Yeah. Okay. There will be 17 students, yep. Yeah. I know. And we will um, select you, yeah? So each week there will be maximum of 10 students who are allowed coming to the campus. And then the next week, uh, there will be following uh, students, yeah, that who cannot come to campus, yeah, uh, the week before, yeah. So we're gonna roll student out, okay? Just for the uh, safety protocol, yeah. So we cannot have too many of you in the same class, yeah, especially if the room is small. Uh, Ms. Ratna is set for the regular class, yes, but not for the FYP session, right? Oh, this is for next week session, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, please check your emails, yeah, whether you are in turn of uh, on-site class or online class, yeah. Please check your email regularly, yeah. If you have difficulties or anything. Any problem with your email, please report to student service. Yeah, so you get the uh, updated uh, news. Yeah, and also check your Venus Maya regularly. Okay, thank you guys. I think that's a question from Cindy. Yeah, please, Miss Ellie. Uh, um, Jennifer is asking, are we going to FX or campus or JWC for? um this wednesday jwc campus yeah b2 b2 apa b2 j apa sih ruangan b2 tuh lab batik batik lab uh b2 floor jwc campus okay so Not tomorrow this wednesday for tomorrow? For tomorrow. For, I think in FX, yeah, Miss Mira. Yeah. yeah. Tomorrow FX. FX. Tomorrow okay. FX. FX. 
six for my ten, yeah. Yeah, ten room yeah. for my session on Wednesday uh, batik lab JW's okay. campus and tomorrow with Sir Diki at FX campus yeah in the room of six ten yeah enam satu kosong ya ya Other questions, maybe students or Miss Shelley, you want to add up something again? I think that's it, but I'm going to give you a quick quiz. Let me just share it with you in the chat box. Okay, so there's a quiz for Miss Shelley. There you go. Okay, students, you can download it uh, from the chat box on the Zoom. It's a PDF file. Yeah. PDF file, yeah, Miss Ellie. Yes, that is PDF. Okay, students, can you please check it? Are we going to discuss about it at school time? Because sometimes we just work on the fast fashion. Okay, there's a question from Cindy. If we don't come to FX, but our name is on the list of on-site class, is it okay if we take on the class? No, no problem. It's okay, Cindy. The thing that will be a problem is if your name is not on the list of on-site class, but you still want to come to campus. Yeah, that's the problem. So as long as your name is listed on the on-site class list, uh, it's no problem if, if you're going to come or not. Yeah. But we do really hope to see you in campus anyway. Especially you're going to see the FX campus and our our playground in Labatik, yeah. Playground. <laughs> okay, uh, Michelle, you maybe you want to explain more about the assignment or the quiz? So on the PDF file, there are five questions. Could you please answer it? And then we're going to discuss going through about that file at 2.10. So I give you 20 minutes to work on it. Mass markets, miss. Yes, exactly. It's mass market, or sometimes we could call it as fast fashion. And then number four, which part of the brand from number four is targeting into? Uh, high end, miss. Yep, it's high end. And what about number five? Hot couture. Exactly. Is everything clear so far? Yes, miss. Yes, okay, there's a simple, actually, the simple questionnaire. Yeah? So uh, I think uh, the right pronunciation to uh, read the ut, yeah, ut couture, just U N T, ut couture. Yeah? That's the spelling. It's okay. We learn together. Ut <laughs> couture, or in Indonesia we call it adi busana. Yeah, jauh banget From ut couture to adi busana. 
Okay, is that the following question I would like to ask? Do you know any brands or like designers in Indonesia that is Ukutu? That is Ukutu? Anyone know? Yang Adi di sana? Um, is Texaferio a couture miss? Yes, true. Texaferio. Other than him? Who else beside Texaferio? Uh, BM. Yeah. Others? I want to hear a couple of names, please. Anna Fanti, yes. Uh, how about Gea, Miss? Gea, slightly high end, isn't it, Sir Diki? Kind of a mix, right? Sorry for Gea, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, it could be uh, high end. Yes, high end. High end designer brand. High end fashion designer. Yes, it's high end for Gea. Gea, Tangga Band. Yeah, now the name is Gea. Yeah, yeah, just Gea. Yeah. Right. Actually, I think for Gea is Michelle. The uh, the brand is will be continue with. I don't know. Maybe another brand with. Uh, her daughters, Manda and Jana, they also uh, created like mm, middle middle brand. Yeah, I think for capturing the youngster, but mm -hmm. I don't know if they're still in the market or not. But actually, for Gea is high end. But for uh, Manda and Jana, I I forgot the name, but it's still young in a young market. Yeah, I think they also like medium. Yeah, so like brand extension. Right. Oh, Miss Lee, that's Ivan Gunawan. Yeah, Ivan Gunawan, Sebastian Gunawan. Ivan Gunawan, be careful because he has a lot of lines. So, which market are you going to say is Okutur? Iwan Tirta. Mm. Not really. I'm not so sure Iwan Tirta is doing the Yeah, yeah, not really. Uh -uh. Monica Ivana, yes. So to differentiate, if I allow to edit, yeah, Michelle, yes. uh, for Ut Couture or Adibusana is something that the clothes is for one particular model is only produced one. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like masterpiece. It's just like an art. For example, that it's really uh, like you know when you. Also, maybe uh, some of you also followed the Met Gala, for example, like they will mention how many hours they produce the one, one gown, yeah? For example, like, um, let's say like uh, Iris Arvan, yeah? It's because it's only one and then there's a story and maybe like Givenchy by, uh, worn by Kendall Jenner, Matthew Williamson, the creative director of Givenchy is created especially inspired by uh, Audrey Hepburn and the late Hubert, yeah, Hubert Fong G, Fong de G Fong Shea. So it's also, I think is thousand hours and only one, yeah. Or let's say if you see like, maybe I don't know, you still get the Xiong Paul Gaultier. It's yeah. always especially, uh, it's like they, they create it like uh, Ut Couture is only one, yeah. And by hands, yeah, by the creative directors, uh, hands, uh, their hands, uh, they create it, and then, or, or could be like maybe if you like a big brand such as like Dior, yeah, or Zuhair, Murai, Murai, and also uh, nowadays maybe you know like um, uh, Chanel, yeah, Chanel also they have like Haute Couture, yeah, but if you take a look, it's more simple, but you know, still, when they made it, it's Yes, it's really delicate, yeah, delicate and chosen uh, fabrics or uh, trimmings. Yeah? You can learn about that. Trimmings is what is trimmings? Is any other accessories than fabric and that needed to 
build one uh, close, yeah, or gun. Back to you, Miss Sally. Thanks, Eddie. You're welcome. So now, what about the designer brand or like the high-end brands in Indonesia? High-end. Anyone? What about the high-end brand or designer? Which designer is standing in the designer brand or like in the high end sector? <laughs> Answers. Okay, let me give you a hint. What about if you're going to Central? Any high end brand? Local high end brand? How about tangan, tangan official? Peggy Hartanto, yes. Yes, Peggy. Although they also, I think their uh, collaboration between Peggy and Batik, yeah, Miss Sally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a medium brand, I think, yeah, not high end, yeah. Because mm -hmm. lots okay. of brands are getting to diffuse, right? Very diffuse. Sorry. <laughs> Lots of brands started to diffuse into different extension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes it could be higher, could be lower, could be the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. The, the 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 right example is like Giorgio Armani. Yeah, Giorgio Armani has such as like Privé for high end, and also they have like Black Label, and yeah. also the Emporio, yeah, Miselli, and also Armani Exchange. Yeah. Mm -mm. Or like Ted Baker, right? Ted Baker, yeah. like Ted Baker. Yes, yes, that's right. And also like Calvin Klein also, yeah. Calvin Klein, yeah. it used to be the highest. Yeah, although that the Calvin Klein itself is not the like high end, but uh, like, yes, high end. Yeah, but not in the top of uh, ladder of the level of fashion, but, and then okay. after that, they make it like CK, yeah. CK and then it used to be like the perfume of soya, like CK1, CKB, Eternity, and so on. So that's a brand extension to make uh, uh, maybe for all of you, not just only fashion design, but also fashion management. Later on, we can learn okay how to make the uh, uh, business of fashion will be alive. Yeah. So why? What is the reason? There are so many SKU. There are so many brand extension. Yeah? Okay, so other than Peggy Hartan though, anyone? Who else would you see in Central? Or like Lafayette? Mm. Or in Plaza Indonesia or Plaza Senayan? Pondok Indah Mall. Yes. I bet all of you is Anak Mall, right? <laughs> Always hang out in the weekend to the mall, right? It's a Jakartan culture. <laughs> or like in Masari shop. Mm. Mm. In Masari, yes. How about Purana? Mm, Purana. Yeah. Or, oh yeah, maybe the popular is Miss Sally is Sejauh Mata Memandang. Yeah? Exactly, Sejauh Mata Memandang. Uh, uh. Who else, guys? There are lots. Iger. <laughs> Iger is, uh, yes, it's also our brand also, yeah, is uh, like outdoor brand. Iger maybe like uh, mid uh, middle or middle brand, and 
And also, I think I'm sure that Iger Iger company also uh, has a service to make um, from other brand, yeah. Because Iger also has the international uh, certified, so not just only for the brand themselves, yeah, the Iger, but also sometimes like uh, maybe other brand in, in international market also ask them to make them the bag, yeah. Yeah, oh, mm. yes, on. did it? Yes, yep. yeah. Oh, yeah, Raisha, yes, you're right. Did it had the present your since I don't know, yeah, it's uh, many years he held like uh, put couture and also share in Paris, yeah, in usually, usually in Crillon Hotel, yeah. So, did it had the is also. Uh, you need to be differentiate yeah, between Didit Hadi Prasetyo and Didit Maulana. So Didit Hadi Prasetyo is, uh, uh, let's say, like I think like couture, yeah, more into couture, and sometimes also made from the feeder of, for example, like Bulu Merak, gitu misalnya. Yeah. So it's specifically, and also the market, he always stay in Paris in every fashion week. Yeah. Uh, uh, this is also the strategy, yeah, Miseli. Yeah. How? we could enter the international market. So that's why if you see like uh, this step is also uh, like also uh, followed uh, in uh, from Asian uh, fashion designer, for example, like Kenzo, yeah? Kenzo is Kenzo Paris. Actually the creative director is Kenzo Takada is from Japan, yeah? Or could be like the... the we the have one for Indonesia, right, Krediti? Yes, yes. So Indonesia also. Hmm. Miss uh, yeah, right. hmm. Kraton, yes. Did it have the Okay. Who Aside from Peggy Hartanto, Topton, Kraton, any other? What do you think about G by Gloria? Uh, sorry? What do you think about G by Gloria? G by Gloria, Gloria, Gloria. Um, G by Gloria. Okay, uh, can you remind me what's Gloria? I forget Gloria. the last name, but the G. Um, they have like the orange collection. Printed. Mm. Printed, yeah, G by Gloria. Let me search uh, for a while, yeah, G by Can you imagine that there's so many fashion designers, but don't forget, uh, you don't have to be afraid since you have, let's say, like a uh, characteristic or something particular from your brand, you can brand the brand, yeah. Special, uh, the same as like a food also, yeah. But fashion is like different, let's say, for example, like, um, Isemiyake, yeah. Isemiyake is uh, always with the pleats, yeah. and also let's say the accessories like bow bow back, yeah. so they have such as particular characteristic. So whenever in the market, you need to bear in mind that what is so different about your brand and why do have the customer to buy it from you. Yeah. Yeah. G by what Gloria. Hmm. G by Gloria, yeah. G by Glory, yeah. Yeah, some, uh, I think Indonesia also, there are a lot of like, Erigo, yeah, Miss Nelly. 
no erigo is also like a phenomenon with the strategy with uh, New York Fashion Week. Yeah? So this is like the proven, let's say like, uh, again, like uh, I continue about the Japanese fashion designer that they, 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 they went to Paris, yeah? like uh, Yoji Yamamoto and then um, uh, Rei Kawakubo. Yeah? Rei Kawakubo actually yeah. also changed the name into Comme de Garçon. Yeah? So it's really French. Come the garçon with the play, yeah. You know the shirt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're just sort of like borrowing the French kind of culture, yeah. right? Mm. Yes. So like Rei Kawakubo is, you know, that amazing thing is Rei Kawakubo is the ex-wife of Yoji Yamamoto. So this husband and wife is really amazing, yeah, and also influenced the fashion world. Like Yoji Yamamoto also collaborate with Adidas with the Y3, yeah. You know Y3. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Uh, and also like um, who else? The Japanese. There are so many Japanese. Is um, Kenzo, yeah. Kenzo also bought by LPMH Group, yeah. And also like um, oh, it made us also a proud, yeah, because the stewardess uh, clothing of uniform of Indonesia uh, Garuda Indonesia. In the seventies, is designed by Hanae Mori. Hanae Mori is from Japanese, also. Yeah. Because so you know Patrick Owen. Ah, Patrick Owen. Yes. Also high end. Tex Saverio, yes, that's could be couture. Yeah, Tex Saverio also ut couture. If you see the Hunger Game, yang uh, what series yang keberapa ya Michelle? So the Jennifer Lawrence is wearing Texas Ferio on wedding gown, yeah. Uh. Yeah, that is good couture, right? Yes, it's couture. Uh. Okay, let's go down again. What about the mass market? What about fast fashion, local brands? Peso, yeah. Peso, yeah. There are so many, especially to, I think for your uh, brand, yeah. I think for the market is all of you, yeah, Miss Ellie, yeah. Especially is uh, streetwear, yeah. Nowadays is streetwear. So that's why it's really interesting to learning about fashion. Yeah, why? How do like um, uh, nowadays there is used to be like the yeah the things that lectured by Michelle about trickle up, trickle down. Yeah, how come like in Chanel there's also like you know like bling bling yeah bling bling like R and B. So this one is like influence. Or let's say about denim yeah, not to mention about denim also. Uh, it used to be by minor workers, but now. Like Dior, also high end brand, also has a denim. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what else? The streetwear? Look, guys. the label yeah yeah more please i want to hear from the others oh etc at cetera yes at the label yes Seratus kapas, yes. Minimal, yes. The executive, yeah. Oh, papillon. Hmm. Not so sure that is. Papillon is, I think, is. Uh, the retail place, right? Multi-level, yeah. Multi-level boutique, I think, yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, 
mm -mm. multi brand i mean like they also serve like usually is high end yeah like play and also isemiyaki and also uh papillon is high end brand like uh yeah Ray Kawakubo yeah and come the guard song and also the uh who's the name from this uh a Belgium uh Miss Sally the one who also made the show with Parang Parang Batik back to 1996 oh, 2006 if I'm not mistaken so uh, this Belgium senior Belgium fashion designer um how can I forget this and wait? Because there are lots of brands and it's just impossible that we know everything, right? Yeah. It's interesting to look for them and just to know the brand. Yes, Pamela, Col wait, Pamela, isn't it from Thailand? Right? No. Color box, yes, cotton ink, Shop yes, hammer, Shop at Velvet, yes. Polygon, yes. You guys know Love and Flair? It's so popular, right? This days, yes. Yeah. In Plaza Indonesia, I miss, yeah. Yeah, Plaza Indonesia, and they also have it in Surabaya. Oh, I just heard about that in Surabaya. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know. Oh, okay, you're just a friend. I thought that's a brand name. So many local brands are selling and love and play, right? That's why we call it as multi-channel platform, the love and play. But also they have their own brand, right? I was, um between seasons and then Beatrice Colton, you might know as well. Those are the mass market. If it is for traditional clothes, there are also some local brands. Can you name it? Is it you're asking or you're stating? Arasila? I was just stating because I've okay. seen so many like um, local brands which uh, sold like a bunch of traditional outfits for dance at all yeah. uh, events, something like that. Okay, so now enough for the brands. What about the classic? I gave you an example like the little black dress. Any other trend or particular items that is also included in the classic? Anyone know? Probably most of you have this in your wardrobe. This particular item. White shirt. You guys have it? It's also a classic, right? It's yeah. never like that. Okay, so I gave you white shirt, little black dress. And could you please give me more example? Blue jeans. Yeah.
black blazer. Hmm, it's quite creepy though. Black Hills, yeah. White shirt, I gave you that one. I wear black trousers. Yeah, oh, trench coat? Like the Burberry trench coat? Denim jacket? Yep. What about the facts? What died, what dies down so quickly? So I gave you earlier about the rubber band bracelets. You guys know any other thing about that? Oh good, what is this? Why to keep Shopee tanks? Hmm. Electric color sledging, yes. Tie-dye, it's still on trend for next year. I wouldn't say low-waisted jeans is a fad. You know the pom-pom? Or like the chakra necklaces? The one with the black strips. Oh, boa, you mean like the scarf kind of with the feather? Boa? Yep. But the question would be, when the boa is a trend, when was it become a trend? You guys remember about the funny pack? It's also kind of fat, right? It dies quickly. What else? Curfew legends? What are those? What kind of curfew? Oh, you know, it's so trend these days in TikTok or in Rails. They have like the leggings, but with a super shaped buttocks. I would say it's also kind of fat. Hologram, mm -hmm. clear shoes. Wow, a hammer pen. Okay, let me open those if you work. Baby looking socks. Yes, go crazy looking socks. Socks with sandals, be careful with that because I still see people wearing those kind of style these days. No, even yesterday I saw people wearing socks with sandals. 
Yesterday I wear it, Miss. <laughs> Last night, yes. <laughs> so I wouldn't say it's a fat, right? It's just about preference. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes maybe uh, today is uh, because uh, fashion is keep on changing. For today, that could be like become fats, but later maybe become classic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And remember, these days fashion it's all about comfort, right? You need yeah. you need to keep for comfort. So it doesn't matter what people think about you. You just want to feel comfort. Right. So I guess that's it from me. Thank you guys for joining this session. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, and hope to see you soon. Uh, okay. yeah. Miss Ellie, yeah. before we, I think we're gonna have a tech picture, yeah, for documentation, yeah. Oh. So just uh, put your camera on, and then I will screen capture from my laptop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's okay. You don't need to put uh, makeup or anything. Just, just be me. who you are. <laughs> anywhere okay good who else not open up the camera okay because there's a two pages okay Charlene uh, and then to Cynthia yeah? and then Fiona Fiona Pung uh, Punky who else Charlene to Cynthia and then Aida Okay. Because my laptop is overheating. Oh, okay, okay. No need. Simpan laptopnya besok supaya bisa dipakai ya. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Now we. Uh, I will take a picture from the first page. Yeah. Maura, you want to join also? Maura Lolang. It's it's already on, but um, I, I'm not sure why it's not showing oh. my face. Okay. Oh, remember that uh, your FL said that everyone don't forget about the cider Zoom this afternoon at 3 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's take a picture. Okay. One, two, and smile. Okay. Once more. One, two, three. Cheers. Good. And then the next page one two and cheers eh, wait Najwa is joining yeah okay Najwa just directly open up your camera we're gonna have a photo session okay one two three and cheers once again one two three pose Okay, thank you everybody. Stay safe and see you tomorrow, yeah? Tomorrow, guys. Thank you, Miss Ellie. Thank you, Sir Thank you, everyone. Thank you, FL. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.